Welcome on in, everybody. Welcome on in. I had a recon. Hello. Welcome on in, everybody, to the stream itself. This is the last. Oh. Before we get started on this episode, we do have some shout outs to do since we did some since last time. Let's see. I have two followers from the last time that I did when I was not on, so here's one of them. <coughs> I want to thank them for the follows themselves so as where we left off we are closing down the season we're down to this into the next race we're cutting it close are we gonna beat Mercedes is the good question right now it looks like we're gonna be able to get it but if we mess up we're gonna be in trouble so, hey. all hands, two can, welcome on in. There's Johnny. But so far, we're closing down. The days are coming. It's getting here. Let's see if we're going to be able to keep Mercedes from... So far, if we screw up any of these two races, they may catch up to us. Maybe. But we had to have a catastrophic failure. So, let's go on there and see what we can make. The carnival atmosphere has already started here in Sao Paulo as Brazil welcomes the Formula One Grand Prix. The Autodromo Jose Carlos Pache has been a staple of the racing calendar for decades and soon will once again be watching the best drivers in the world give it their all. The Sao Paulo track is beautifully designed to present an enticing challenge for teams and drivers alike between medium speed S corners, hill climbs, and the high speed section after hey, Jum Sao, this circuit calls for cars to have a balanced setup to succeed here. This race may well be a title decider, and Ferrari's paddock is red hot as they prepare to fight it out. Red Bull is lying in wait, ready to charge to victory. There's nothing like a race weekend in Formula One. Oh, what do I hate the most is rain because that's a variable that I so hate to have. Oh. So let's see here. Avenger, welcome on in. So Avenger. How are you doing, Venger? <laughs> Welcome on in. So let's see here. We're getting our setup, so let's see. We're going to do what is set up with a seven zero, but a little bit higher. We are going to bring up a little bit by 40 so this car Take about 24 laps. 
hopefully we can get all 24 laps. We're going to put 21 on them. Hopefully we can get them in. Let's get on track. Radio check, can you hear me? Radio check, radio check. Copy. Doing all right, Avenger. Doing all right. We're staying strong to end up making to the end of the season. We're almost to the end of the season. The last two races. This race and the next race. And hopefully we get to defeat Mercedes this season. That's our goal for this season. Is to defeat Mercedes. And we're almost there. Hey, listen. Crash, 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 where, where? Was it one of ours? Yellow ahead. Let's see what happened there. Now just nope. take a look at the McLaren. That oh! That crash is terrible news for the team. Front wing lost. Underbody definitely lost. Definitely. Whatever is Danny. It has to be Daniel Ricardo or Lando Norris. But yes, I'm doing all right, Venger. How about yourself? How's everybody else doing so far? Huh. So excited. I want to see if we're going to make it to next season. So excited. Ready to end up taking a new challenge. Definitely going to be a higher team. Means more expectations. Much, much more stuff required. That's going to be definitely difficulty. But I had a lot more harder. Okay. Yeah, all good from my side here. Copy. Top. Copy. Okay. Coffee and get ready for the busy day. Ooh. Um, I guess your day must be your right, I guess, right? Difficult to recover the front. Yeah, come yeah. So, what do you want? Welcome on in, Super Wiki. First time here. SO to Mr. Super Wiki himself. Hey, listen. Yeah. <laughs> it's 
see if we're gonna make it. I know it says it's supposed to rain, but I don't see the rain, luckily. This is Formula One F1 Manager. It's basically F1 Manager. It's basically instead of you as the driver and managing team, you are just managing the team itself. You decide pit strategy, how much fuel, what parts do they use. You're basically managing everything, part by part, everything. You're basically breaking it down. That you're doing everything yourself. The only thing you let go is only your drivers. Your drivers do all the driving for you. You don't have to do any of the drop. And there we go. Optimized itself 100%. Altes got a complete good setup. Started a race. So we are good to go with his setup. Suddenly having lots of grip. Okay, understood. I gotcha. Box, 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 box. Um, I don't want to get another set out there. Come on, Alonzo. You're the last one to get the set up. Copy. Get that last day technical data so we can actually get you into box. Your only thing is holding me back is trying to know that one piece more knowledge. Of course, you hit back to the garage. You have that first. Okay, luckily. So let's see here. If I want to do his, wonder what do I have to do to get his setup perfect? Do 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 do. Let's bring this up. Give him a wedge. But I think we're gonna do a next session because we're already less in the session itself. We're gonna go into the next session and let's get ourselves started for the next session, next practice. Sounds like someone's gone wide there. Good session. But how are you doing, Mr. Wiki? I see penalty. Let's see. I just need to bring the two out by one. It's going to come down later. Radio check. Radio check confirmed. Radio yeah. check. They should be green, green now. Green light. Leading into the exiting pit road. Looks like Danny Ricardo, follow us out. Careful running right, Alonso. Rain still coming. Yeah, copy. copy, mate. Copy. Oh boy.
We still didn't get enough to. Orbit. Fox to get intermediates. They're calling you up both in. That's a spin. To optimize intermediates and go. Since we don't have enough data. So we are going to be an intermediate for a little bit. Let's see if we're going to be able to do anything right now. We're trying to get some technical data. See what we need. We got a crash on course. And who's it with? Your flag's out. Let's see who's contact I with. I think that was a crash. Let's have a look. Stafford did the same thing as, wow, the McLaren team did. It did the same thing as what Norris have done earlier in the first practice. Steady, keep it steady. Don't break it. Don't break it. Keep it good. Thank you. Luckily, it didn't break anything like the other drivers did. How's the balance? We want that perfect setup. Oh, did someone run wide there? That's why we're careful. We're gonna still use those intermediates until we need to. Uh... Oh, there's a spin! Alonso, careful! <clears throat> You're really just gonna start pushing and breaking parts. We can't afford to break parts. Did somebody spin out there? Cannot afford to screw up during the race. We got the same front of Mercedes and win this season. Oh, 
starting to lose grip, maybe the pressure is getting too high. And this boot. Is the <laughs> Hey there, welcome on in. How are you doing, Sniff? What do you think? Well, that guy, very good. Happy. That's excellent Copy to that. hear. Good to hear. Let's see. Thank you for joining us here today. Once practice is over, qualifying will be underway. And then the fight for pole begins. Time and time again, we see just how little separates the drivers as they complete their qualifying laps. Those who have pushed that little bit harder during qualifying can be rewarded with a grid place that sets them apart from their competitors going into the race. So here we are, ready to resume. Oh, this looks like it's gonna be moderate rain. But it's good to hear that you're having no right. track we got 100% set on ours let's get on track radio check radio check okay radio check green light green light Oh, it fed me. It pulled my leg. Lonzo, stop locking up the vehicle. We need you to survive these turns. Looks like there's been a lockup. Please oh, do not spin. wreck. We just need you to stay alive until the end of the race. Okay. Now we're getting some practice during the summers. But yeah, let's get going. We definitely want to get this race win, that's for sure. This is definitely what we need to win this season against Mercedes this season. If we win this season, we move up. Get Red Bull for next season if we end up winning this season by beating Mercedes, that's for sure. <laughs> Giving the Dragon Wolf a treat.
Welcome on in. First time. Nor I twenty one. Welcome on in. <laughs> Doing all right. How about yourself? Oh, what's your piss up? I'm intrigued. What caused you to trigger? What caused you to get frustrated? Just had a spin. Now you're intriguing me. What team were you on and what happened? <laughs> the rear, the rear tires are feeling pretty bad. Copy it. So what do you want? Go to what you want, box. I-21, I would like to know what happened. Because it intrigues, because it may end up showing something that I may not be seeing. Definitely interested, that's for sure. The checkered flag is now out. So suddenly having loss of grip. Understood. Ready to check. Ready to check. Have been with Alonso, but oh, what season was this? First season, second season. Because let's see, fight first, but oh, your fourth season. Interesting. Yeah, it's definitely different for me. I'm still in season one myself, so it's quite hard to end up putting myself in the same boat as yours. More crash prone. Only some of them does, not all of them do. I notice that on mine. I know Team Has just constantly crashing on mine and causing everybody to end up having a uh, safety car or something. Always happening. Sounds like a spin. Ouch. Sheesh. I would be pissed off as well. I would be pissed off as well if that happened to me. I 
I can't complain about that. That would have pissed me off as well. When I was in Team Has, they did the same thing. They knocked each other out. Season 1. No updates or anything did it. Yeah, play your second. Alright, 21, thanks so much for the follow. Usually it happens every race. I'll just run out, safety car in Hungary. I, uh, oh, I just, mm, I'm, I'm speechless with words with that one. Alonzo has not crashed that I seen in my playthrough but I can't say for further because I have not defeated after season one because so far my season one with team Haas was very horrible that I didn't get to season two it was that bad so I started a new team with LP which was better than team Haas I know that I cannot say for words. Even I have no words for their action with that one. <clears throat> Did somebody spin out there? Our first three seasons were great, but since the patch, I noticed both drivers started making mistakes. Is it confirmed? Mm. That's new technical data to me. New technical data to me. I have not seen any major influence other than Team Has crashing more often on my end. Wait a second, really? Luckily, I don't have Team Has as my team. Because that's where I was having noticed some lots of uh, wrecks and things. Summary started now. Funny thing is, I still lead the champion despite all these crashes. Um, I, I, I can't say very much because I have not went through a full season with a team. So, that's for sure. Oh no, did I get a bug? Look, am I stuck? I am stuck. Wow. That was a crash right there for me. Zero seven, welcome on in. Um, somebody ended up gift stuffing you, so that's why.
Review sec. Copy. Green light. Magnuson's in front of us. Crap. This is going to be interesting with him on the race. Run wide. Is it dry enough? No. Switching. Three hits. Go. Really, it's dry enough? I don't see it dry enough. Enough? You're saying it dry enough. I don't see it dried enough. There's no more rain. All clear. So, we got the checker, and we're going to see if we're going to keep our P5. And we will. And strangely, Magnuson gets T2. A team has that's been wrecking so much this season. That is a new for me. So he's going to take pole. Lewis Hamilton will move up because there's penalties on these two. Oh boy. This is going to be an interesting. The time has come for these drivers to fight it out wheel to wheel. Race day has arrived. Although we didn't see a standout performance from Alpine during qualifying, hey, everything still open to them during this race. The work Red Bull did during qualifying was nothing short of spectacular. Now let's see if they can repeat that for today's race. And the race will be taking place under blue skies. That means the team should be able to apply their strategy without any added complications. And when it comes down to it, there's simply no telling what will happen here in the ups and downs of Sao Paulo. Let's see. Oh, you like it that I kill? <laughs> I remove Ocon? Yes, Ocon is basically was removed after a few races with us. I couldn't last that long with the problems that I've been having with him. So, it was either do or done. And he didn't do good enough. So, he was eated out of the team. You kicked him because he was saying those things about Alonzo. Hmm. Interesting. I hated him because he wasn't performing. He was wrecking more than I was trying to get out of him. As soon as I saw Valtteri was definitely pushing, I was like, you got it. You got to drive with us, so. So, yeah. Let's go on track and see where we're going to be going. We have beautiful blue skies overhead as the drivers line up on the grid. And there's Valtteri Bottas. Starting in third place, they're in a really good position for this race. And here's Alonso, the team's second driver. Not as close to the front as they might have wished for, but we know the race order can change a lot during those first few corners. The 
teams are ready to go. Yep, I agree. Who will win? Only time will tell. Five Here single red lights. In it. And it's lights out, and away we go. Shall we floor it, guys? We can get these guys out of here if we floor it. Shall we floor it? What was that? Floor it. Come on, give us some space. Oh yes, we got a ton of upgrades onto the car. We just need to use them at the correct timing and intervals because we don't have loadout. Yeah, take it easy. Okay. I'm surprised this team has has still has in front of us. I don't believe this. DRS enabled. Yes, I did. Yep, I spent them in all three areas. I'm surprised that Magnuson is still holding tight up there. I think we've had a car run wide. Oh, we knew that was going to happen. We knew that was going to happen eventually, and there it goes. We knew that was going to happen. The house driver didn't stand a chance against us. Yes, I know. But it seems to be on mine is the team has that seems to be on the most wrecking wreckage. Next one would be Williams if they wrecked, if they did. Coming to the air, and we're going to get in front of him right through there. And now we're going to take the lead of this for a while. That's a good overtake from Alpine. He 
sinking here on Deffen, huh? Yes, Sierra, as we don't, but we're gonna still make it in there, hold him back still. And now it's just the two of us that are starting to space away, and both of the Mercedes are trying to now catch up both the Bottas and Leclerc that we're both pulling away from them a little bit. And they're trying to chase us down. And now they reclaim it, Leclerc has reclaimed it. And now we're behind them. Ferrari, advance the race position. I know. I'm almost tempted to say that Alonso has not improved very much during the season. And hearing it from another person that also had the same thing, I'm about to scrap the contract. He has only a three year contract, which would make it to two. I would just switch with a Ferrari driver, maybe. Who knows? Come on. Look at the timing. I'm taking a look. How far back are these guys? We're already... The behind drivers are not even getting between us. Look at this. We got some space in between. We're both... So, we're both racing each other like we're pulling away from them. Montez and me, we're both trying to keep ourselves away from the other teams, it seems like. Look at the time. Darn. Like we're not even going to be touched at the moment. Wow. Okay. Montez, you do what you do best, I guess. Now it's time to to look at our focus. Good. Come on. Can't believe it. Come on, Al Alonzo. Come on. Push it. Bottas as well as Leclerc. We're both having a side battle. I can pretty much just leave them do what they do best. They're both battling it out out there. Why you over fuel? Um, I'm just gonna push it through. I know it seems to be heavier, but I'm for some reason certain races I can pull it through, then I can actually get through the race quicker. There's people on conserving, and I end up just pulling through it. It works on some races, some of them don't. Because this is only first season, what at this team, it seems to be I it works better with this one where team has. I couldn't even do any trials or errors. So I was, I'm basically trying to see if this is better. No, we're not doing an attack just yet. We're trying to end up getting ourselves serve a little bit here. We're conserving a little bit. I know that's usually the case, but for some reason, when I add extra fuel to this car of it, it seems to be lasting a good amount. Certain races that we have long tracks that we end up having to use it that I had to press conserve fuel. 
There's some people that can actually even see my past streams. We had to end up conserving it because we didn't put enough fuel in the car. Let's focus. Red Bull moves up. He focuses on Alonso much more. Alonso's not doing any too far. His former team it is behind him. When's your plan, pit stops? Lap 21. Yes, that's again was correct. We almost came to a point that I didn't I put it a lot of fuel into the car and it was still not enough. But we were able to full throttle it still. Are you serious? Alonso, you're falling off the base. You're letting your former teammate pass over you. A position gained for Alfa Romeo. <laughs> Are you serious? Oh. Alonso, your former teammate Ocon just passed you. Wow. Wow, wow. Hey, Otaz was doing a lot more better than Alonso, as you can see here. When I took Otaz, they took Ocon. Tires are a little overheated, so I gotta cool them down. Really? Okay, that was a little bit more than I was expecting. Right now, I am was not expecting an attack right off. So now, we got to go a little bit conserving mode. Because right now, we use more than our entire wear expectancy. Start button off. Hmm. And... Nor I-21 is correct. I'm going through my tires before the pit stop. Uh, 
Oh boy. Right now, Montes is finally so far behind that Leclerc just left them in the dust and left them with the other group. This is what I was not wanting to do. But now we're stuck with these guys behind us. Both of them with TRS. Now we got to keep them away from. We to keep the position from Russell as well as Hamilton. We got to keep Mercedes behind us. Long and yeah, not what I wanted. Mercedes now passes. Now we got to reclaim position now. Position gained for Mercedes. Now we got to reclaim that position. Like someone's locked up. Yeah, it could be plus one. More. Now we're in traffic. Now the top teams are now all together bunched up to us. Now we got a Red Bull and Mercedes. Now we're not going to be able to catch up to that Mercedes. Red Bull gained a place. We're going to have to conserve our tires even more to be able to make it to the first pit stop. Yeah, take it easy. Copy. Oh, did you see that? Both the Mercedes and the Red Bull team just end up both spawning out right Sounds there. Like we've had a spin. Let's what happened back then? Look. Now let's look at this. Here's George Russell. George Russell and look at that. They spun their car. Oh. And the team had such high hopes today. What a shame. Hey, listen. Yeah, that would have depth. That's why I'm right now, I'm just sitting right here. Right now, one of the... Oh, Russell got a penalty for causing the collision. Yeah, no worries. That's what I want it. Oh, and Ferrari just gained a place. Yes, I do see that. That's what I worry about as well. But because I'm not all the time in the front, it's usually the Ferrari and the Red Bull team in front. And me coming close behind, I don't have those kinds of problems usually. So, but now that I'm inside with the Ferrari and the Red Bulls behind us, and I'm right behind them, Anything can happen here. And I have Hamilton behind me. Alonso's definitely losing his pace. He's falling back. Instead of gaining Looks position, like he's losing position. For Alfa Romeo.
Well, right now, it's a question right now because we're in a tight spot. We're going to have to end up. Hmm. I'm going to have to say Alonso's going to have to box in a lap early so we can get him on a new compound, just get him going. Again, because he seems to be losing his pace. He's losing everything right now. He's off the pace. Bottas is coming to that point. Yes, that's what I'm holding for Bottas. He's holding until lap 20. Alonso, I'm going to box him a lap 19, so it'll be just one lap earlier, but not much of a difference. So right now, we're just conserving right now our tires until then. Hey, listen. How much time do you need until 22 seconds? Yeah. Um. There's still a lot to play for. All right, no problem. Red Bull moves up. Let's see, I'm going to go ahead. Here we go. This route. Yes, thank you for coming in then. Okay, be late. Copy. It's a race position gained for Mercedes. Not the car. Welcome on in. Thanks for the raid itself.
Go ahead and give an SO to him. Welcome on him, Raider. You guys know I'm variety streamer or I end up in different kind of content games depending on what I'm in the mood for at the moment we're trying to defeat F1 manager at least try to get ourselves to move up to a different team different season I'm still in season one so I'm still new to this so you bear with me with that there's other games in the planning, but I gotta see if they're worth trying out before I put them up here, so. You did a good job. Oh, That's we're, a good overtake from Alpine. We're both into the box. Oh, we're being held up. Here. We didn't lose too much time, but we're able to last a little bit longer out here. Definitely got to keep yourselves right there. Got to end up getting in front of Hamilton. Slightly a little overheated. This is good. 
Oh, so now Alonso just starts wanting to wake up and go now. Just now I'm starting to questioning. Is he going to try to wreck his teammate? Because now he's starting to catch up and within range. I wonder. Let's see here. Guns would have it easier than single violence. So we're gonna just keep it steady and keep it right there. The left 50, we're going to head to Fox again. We have one. That's correct. You can see we're going from the hard compound back to mediums. I got two technical data. One is if we go to the aggressive route. This is the one that if we do the normal route. Still overheating. Those tires are really overheating. You must be crazy. Trying to go down now. Copy that. Yeah, take it easy. Copy. Really? It has to be that cold? I'm sort of questioning if these tires are going to get quite cold. But yeah, I'm like, uh, I'm starting questioning the temperature of the tires because it's not going to be accepting those temps for too long. Cold tires does not end well.
Old conserve mode is definitely keeping them cold, but we're not getting too close to them. We're making more distance than we are. Our temps are definitely on the frigid side. I think I'm gonna turn these tires a little bit up. Push a bit more. Stop it. We can push a bit more. There's our warm temperature. Not enough to drop the temperature real majorly. Just because the temperature was getting up there about 132, 142. Oh. Let's see if we can drop that by one wedge. Then. Let's see, is it gonna drop it down? Lightly. Not perfect, though. But just slightly. Back it off. All right. I'll drop it down. Keeping them in cool temperatures right now. To conserve our tires. Let's see here. I can see by the engineer's perspective why we need to drop them down like a rock. But if we have them too cold, then that means that when we really need to push it, it's not going to be available too much. You can see we still have quite a bit of way before we reach the lap 50s.
on twist that we're full throttle, but we're conserving the tires. But a twisted way. Reason why I'm going to another set of mediums instead of going to softs that we That's usually focused. do, because right now we got a lot of the control that we can do with the mediums versus using the software. We have to be precise. Alonzo. I seem to be having, if I turn my back for too long, it seems to be doing stuff back here that it's like you should have already took care of it already. Look, the other driver's almost gonna pass them up. I definitely know who I would never re-sign again. Let's see. Come on, stay. Keep that hands behind you. Come on. I know the top teams are way ahead of us. Look at him, he's already halfway to the track, Pierce. Look, the top teams have already beat us. The only one with us is only Hamilton. So that means we're close to being overtake by overlap. They come any closer. Why? I heard ya. Not much else to do than just playing the waiting game on them. Because there's not much I can do to tell them to go. Because the whole entire track's all spread out. Unless we get a safety car to put the group together, but then it will be worse timing unless if it's closer to lap 50, then that might change. Really? Lonzo. You're letting a Haas driver to pass you? Don't let that happen. Good job. Really? So this is P10 at the moment, P10. 
Ah. Uh. Doing a good job. Keep pushing. Pass with an overtake there. Crap. Juan, so. It's broken. <laughs> Anti stall. It's I'm off. Back. Yes, it seems to be that way. What's causing you to stay down on? Let's see, I'm gonna end up revving up your engine a little bit. We think we can lean on the tires more. Okay. We're gonna rev that engine because you're not able to maintain this pace. So it's time to move up a little bit. Come on. Come on. This is your... Why are you worse than Team Hass? Hass crashes and everything. And you're letting them pass you? That's quite sad. At least... At least Bata has only has to worry about your former teammate. That's all. Jeez. I don't see why. He's trying to close the door on us. Lord, get in there. P9. Oh, run a little bit wide there. That's a good overtake from Alpine. Really? You're gonna drag race for this? Really? Oh, you wanna play that way, huh? Push. Okay. Oh, come on, Nemo. Yeah, take it easy. Copy. Oh, come on in, Nemo. Eight months already? Wow. It's been a while. Hey, listen. Hey, listen. <laughs> Sick all this time. We've just had a spin. That sounds like someone's gone wide there. It's oh, you might. Oh, 
hopefully you get better emote. Hopefully you get better soon than later. That's sure. Let's see here, strategy wise, let's see. There you go, Emo. <laughs> Look back to you. Get into the box itself. At least that's easy enough to get around, right? What am I seeing? Lonzo? Lonzo? No, now we can start on those tires. But that's good to hear, Emo. Because it's just a common cold. Hey, listen. <laughs> really? Yeah. 
At least it's not TV news itself. on the hard compound. So that means we're going to have an advantage. Unless these people are going to follow the same advantage as we are. window Getting a little bit quicker. You guys. much else is going on between the two of them. up the pace a bit. Copy.
It's See what strategy these guys are gonna do. They're gonna follow our strategy or they're gonna make their own. So you got a whole entire space for we can push a bit more. Copy. Okay. It looks like they're gonna do our strategy in the mix. He pushed me off almost. This one pushing me off, huh? Not this time. Or at least in our safe area. Bottas has done it. So far, it looks like he's still in front of Hamilton. Russell's all the way at the back of the field. Make things better if Alonso would keep up with his teammate. He's in P10. Watson's in P6. Hard is it to make up three positions. to end up seeing if he's going to be able to do it. But I definitely know it's not going to be uh,
know we can. I know we can catch Ocon. But I'm waiting. I'm not rushing it. I'm going to wait until the perfect moment to take the jump on him. At the moment, we should leap forward and then have a battle until the end. Not much else to do. Than... Oh, I really don't want to push Al Alonzo right now. Seems to be going to his tires quicker. Working them through. Yeah, take it easy. Okay. Oh. Hi. Well. Now we're overheating tires here. I think there's been a lockup. Look, we can serve, and now we're already right behind Ocon. And it's still overheating. He's still overheating his tires. We need to soak. Oh. Hey, listen. No. Oh, it's just the bot. Just saw it on screen. Nobody saw it, so I took care of it. Was a position free gain to Alonso. Magnuson. Yeah. 
seems to have been a lockup. Yes, I, I don't have that face. Stay cool, man. You did a good job. Pass with an overtake. Okay. Give me that. Yep. Alpine just advanced. Here. This is good to come on. Yep. We need to turn it down. May have to. Yeah, we may have to to conserve what we got. Level down. Copy. Ten, we got 11 laps to go, now 10. So, we're gonna have to serve. Both of them have the same tire, where pretty much they're about a little bit of a difference of how much fuel on board. Not by much. We can always turn them on high and just start overtaking. Ocon just overtaking us does not hurt us. But means that we're gonna have to take care of it eventually. It's okay. Is that a lock up on the track? Ocon's doing the same strategy as we are, so. You can see his tire wear matches ours, so he's doing the same strategy as we are.
There's been a lockup. Nothing that we had to worry about. Looks like we're conserving a little bit better than Ocon. Doing better at conserving it for Socon. But not by much, but we are conserving a little bit. He sticks right there. We just need him to just to beat. From At least he's taking Magnuson, but I want him to pass Hamilton. That's what I want him to do. But we can't get through that yet. Another driver locked up. They Rex, anything? No data? Nope. Just a normal, just ran wide. Like someone's locked up. Latifi. Low lap warning, low lap warning has came up. Look, we just did this on low conserve. Let's focus. Come on, Alonso. You can see even Bottas is trying to put up a fight with low con conserving tires and full throttle. Eight laps to go. Eight laps. There you go. Eight lap warning. Eight lap warning. Because Alonso, I can't really put too much of an eye on him because he's not impressing us right now. For now, Bottas is doing most of the good picture coverage right now. There we go, so the seven lap warning has came up. And we do have slower moving vehicles in front of us. And we see Hamilton behind us right back there. So 
right now we're thinking about probably start turning up the heat on these tires but you can see they have already done that with Ocon but for us we're still going to hold back until we have to start turning these tires on so we're just about to end up turning these tires on. Six laps to go. We're now gonna turn them up to light. Head down. Okay. We can push more. Okay. Now we're slowly rotating to get them start to get fired up for the big push. Johnny, you know you're there. <laughs> oh, that's good to hear. You enjoying it? <laughs> That's good to hear, Johnny. I guess your gift was pretty good then. <laughs> we have a crash on track. We got a crash on track. What happened? What happened on track? A crash. Sounds like a single car. Let's take a look at the replay. Now just focus on Are you serious? Has by himself. Brakes hard. And hits the guardrail. Front wing damage and everything. Four laps to go. Now we're going to standard. We can push a bit more. So now we have the tires pretty much situated for us to start taking it. Our tires are ready to go. Are you serious? Are you serious? Leclerc's right behind us. We're gonna have to go full throttle to get away. Oh crap. Um. Oh God. It's time for us to go. Come on. Go slow us down. 
Come on. Go. Yes, we're going to have to attack them. We're going to have to go now. We're going to have to stay in front of them. Get out of here. Oh, God, get out of our way. We're getting out of here. We know it's a little overheated. We gotta go! Oh, you're trying to beat us with a TRS? We're gonna try to go. We're going. You can get Alonso, but you can't get Fontes right now. Go! But you're not gonna get us. Oh, he's right behind O'Connor. Oh, crap! Go! Oh, we definitely got away a little bit. Go! <laughs> wow. Wow. We're doing our last lap and we pass through. That's Leclerc. Show wow. Leclerc is today's winner. Are we the only ones that did not pass through to check a flag yet? So let's check a flag. Yeah, wow. Good luck, guys. Say good weekend. Oh good my job. gosh. Take the pickup. Oh, are you? No, the eyes. No, the eyes, buddy. Copy. Huh. Oh boy, that was a lot out of us. Last one over the line. This is a decent enough result here from Valtteri Bottas. This wasn't bad at all from Alpine. Now the question is, how can they make it better next time? Absolutely. This was very promising. And now the team will be doing everything they can to make good on that promise. That's right. And they finished the race weekend in third place in the constructor standings. Formula One has almost reached its conclusion this year. Meet us next time in Abu Dhabi, between the desert and the sea, for an enthralling finale. Oh, gosh. See, we're still right there.
So, nobody got him first. Hey guys, you know what that time is. Let's see here. Well, let's see who we're going to. <clears throat> let's see, everybody. Let me find out who we're going to go to. So guys, let's go ahead and stick together here. Thanks so much, guys, for sticking with me here on the stream. Thanks so much for joining me on this episode here. Do stay for the raid. And thanks so much, guys, for your follows, your subs, and everybody that's been here with me. Thank you so much for joining me on here, on this episode here. Thanks so much. It means a lot that you guys are here with hey, me this time. So thanks so much. It means a lot that you guys are here with me. So I'll catch you guys on the next episode. Thanks for watching.